What's up, guys? This is going to be the Phase 5 Abyss list. Sorry for taking so long getting out. I, uh, I know a lot of you have been waiting to get your uh, your loot lists and whatnot for your, uh, your raids in order, that kind of thing. So hopefully this will help. At the end, I'm going to put up an Excel sheet of all the different PvE bits that you need and kind of the, the priority that I'm going to put on each one to get. And that's going to be consisting of kind of like a mixture of how many of the different sets the item is involved in, how strong overall the item is compared to the PvP equivalent, that kind of thing. Now, I'm mostly just going to be talking about kind of the reasoning behind each item, the thought process, kind of what you can switch out for what, that kind of thing. If you don't care about all that stuff, the straight up bis lists, what I'm looking at here, are going to be linked in the description. So I recommend just grabbing that and dropping a like because this was a pain in the ass to do. Without further ado, we're going to start with just the general healing gear, right? We're going to have a few different sets. I'll show you up here. There's a few different ones, which I'll go through. But for now, this is just general healing gear, right? And keep in mind, generally, you can mix and match the items. So if you do need a bit more resilience, you can chuck on, you know, another resilience ring instead of this. That kind of thing. It's very much based on the cues that you're getting at the time, how you feel. You know, you can switch out the vial if you want to have more regen, less survivability. Uh, put on the, you know, the earring, that kind of thing. But this is just a base, right? This is where we're gonna gonna start from. And obviously, you can mix and match from there as required. So first of all, we got the cowl of lights purity from uh, Kill Jaden, and as usual, I had a look at the different slots, obviously we've got the, the four-piece uh, Brutal Gear, but I had a look at the different slots, and generally this item just comes out a bit ahead of the other options. Uh, by that I mean that if you put the PvP Helm on here, and you put a different slot on, how much more regen essentially are you going to be getting? And yeah, the helm just comes out ahead of everything else in that regard. So we're going with the helm. And we're just socketing. We have actually got the uh, the healing MP5 enchant back on the helm now. Last season was using the hit one there. But we've actually got the, uh, the new enchant, which is the resilience helm enchant coming in. So if you do want to swap out that helm for a resilience piece... Uh, and you want to have that resilience helm and shot on, you're going to lose the hit, right? So that makes it a little bit awkward if you're going to be under hit cap. So we're going to get hit from the gems again, and the glove enchant, but we'll talk about that a little bit, a little bit more later. For now, we've got the healing enchant on the helm, and then the standard mana restore on spellcast meta. And then we've actually got epic healing spirit gems this tier, which are slightly better than the MP5 alternative. So... We're going to be going for the Healing Spirit in the Reds. Next, we've got the Cinderai Pendant of Salvation. This is ever so slightly better, I would say, than the Guardian equivalent. However, it really doesn't make that much difference. The main perk, I guess, is that you get a blue socket with some healing instead of a yellow socket with some stamina, which is not as valuable. So, obviously, if you want to be tankier overall, the Guardian's one is nicer. You stick a Resil Gem in there. However, the, the Cinderai version has a little bit more regen on and the potential for a spirit gem in there. Which is why I put it in the ultimate, I guess, phase one. Uh, sorry, phase five general gear set. Uh, Abyss list. Then we've just got our standard brutal shoulders, healing enchant. Uh, healing spirit gem and ten spirit. Uh, sorry, ten hit. Spell hit, that is. And then... Obviously, we've got the epic gems now. So instead of going the triple spell hit gem, we actually, I'm going to skip over the cloak really quickly. We actually run the spell hit spell damage. You can also go for spell hit to MP5 if you can get it from, I believe it's Underbog. Um, but yeah, the difference is not that considerable. Uh, going back, we've got, again, the Karma Shroud of Hope. And this is just a good standard piece. Regen on it, decent item, uh, decent item level. It's got Resil, MP5. Uh, 
not too much of the item budget has gone onto the healing, which is nice for PvP. So we've got that still remaining in there. Other options include something like this. This is pretty good for regen if you're able to get your hands on it. Next, we've got the braces. We've just gone for the Guardian's Mooncloth Cuff. 6 MP5 on it. Resilience gem in there. Nothing too crazy there. Weapon, we've got the staff from Kill Jaden, I believe it is. Yep. And we're just socketing that with the healing spirit. Because obviously we get the socket bonus. So we're trading out one spirit for 11 healing, which is worth. And we're getting the two 10 spirit gems on there. Healing enchant on it. Now, technically, you could get two of these, right? And put triples 10 spirit on this. If you're being really, really min maxi you can put triple 10 spirit in there and 20 spirit enchant on it uh and this will be your maximum spirit stick in terms of you know not casting i would probably still just go with the healing healing five spirit and 20 spirit on there and sacrifice a bit of healing if you're you, you know if you've got two but uh for just general play i would say go for this one uh, and then for the wand, we've got the wand from the trash, the wand of cleansing light. And this is this wand is actually insane because it's holy damage. The DPS is really, really high. Uh, it's got a lot of spirit on it, a gem socket, so even more spirit. And then it's got the uh, a little bit of haste on it and, and a lot of healing as well. So this wand is actually insane. Uh, and and a, a really ad good added perk of this wand is the fact that you can just kill warlock pets with it. Uh, because it's holy damage and warlock pets don't have any holy resistance so normally your wand gets it resisted a ton by the pet whereas if you've got this on the pet behind the pillar you're really going to chunk it so this is a, a big big pickup if you can get it um and that's yeah that's the weapons now remember that you will be swapping these weapons in and out for the resilience uh counterparts so the resilience does look a little bit low here However, you will get 62 extra resilience from um, from using your PvP weapons. And that's going to bring you up a bunch. Now, you might want to sit a little bit higher base resil as undead. This is going to bring you up to about, you know, 373-ish if you use the PvP weapons. Which is a little low on the, on, on the low side for undead. So you can potentially swap out this ring for the Vindicator's Band of Salvation. But for Dwarf, this is okay in general due to Stoneform Desperate Prayer. And we're taking full advantage of this ring. But we'll get there in a sec. Next we've got the, the 45 Brazil Trinket, the epic version. 40k honor, so get farming. I recommend getting 100 of every mark in the off-season if you can. Uh, and most likely by the time you've done that, you'll be at 75k honor. If not, you will be with the remainder of the arena points most likely. Uh, that you had from last, last season if you didn't spend them all. And if not, make sure you're doing your uh, your tower dailies in Hellfire and uh, Terracar Forest. That will get you uh, up to the 75k cap. Next, we've got Vial of the Sunwell. This is just from Magister's Terrace. If you can find it. 25% drop chance. Uh, Heroic, so you can do this once per day, I believe. To try and get it. I would recommend doing this until you get it. This is important to pick up. This is going to be super useful, especially on Dwarf. It's going to be off global. It's a 2k heal, so you can just like stone form use this, right? Uh, before people react, if needs be. And uh, obviously it's free. So this will not proc your 5 second rule, so you can use it for that as well. Uh, and you can also use it while silenced. So a very valuable trinket. It also has 15 MP5 passive on it. Now consider, Memento is 19 MP5 passive. Best case scenario from the proc. So 15 MP5 is not bad at all. As an added perk to this trinket. Uh, so the region on it is definitely not bad. Uh, however, obviously it doesn't have the passive healing that Memento has. But it's PvP, so we don't care that much about that. Next, we just got the Guardian's Ring. Standard. Um... Actually, considering you could uh, go for the Cinderai Band of Salvation as Undead as well, as well as the Guardians, you could dual run those. Uh, if you don't have that, then you could go for the Vindicators, but yeah, that's just a side note. This is not a bad pickup. Um, but 
to talk about what we've got here right now, we've got the Ring of Harmonic Beauty, which is... I don't even know where it is. I've got some weird uh, EQ values going on right now. Unforge. Uh, so yeah, it's down here. It's a zone drop. Random drop from the trash. And the spirit, int, and stam on it are just really, really high. So this is a, a really good stat item, especially for 2v2 to pick up. This is really going to bolster your spirit up a lot. So I recommend trying to pick up one of these bad boys. Next, we've got the Boots of Absolution. And these are insane, actually. They've got a ton of regen on. They've got a, a bunch of haste on, and they've got a ton of healing and just other stats in general. Like These are just all-round insane boots. Socket as well. Cannot complain. These are so much better than everything else that's available. It's nuts. Uh, then we just got the standard Brutal Legs. Nothing new there. Uh, and then Belt, we're obviously going to go for the T6 Belt as well. And this is sort of the same story as the boots, really. Like These are the two really big items from this tier, I would say, in terms of... Uh, terms of just having good regen building up more haste as well you can see down here this set is regen set generally right but we've got 6.5 percent haste with it as well and actually you can you know you can tend towards haste a little bit more if you want to uh, and boost that up to even like 10 percent plus without it really taking too much of a regen hit you know you could switch out the the karma shroud of hope for the haste cloak you could do the same with the neck that kind of thing and you're not going to lose any resilience for doing that. It's literally, you're going to trade a little bit of regen for a bit more haste. So this is what I mean about, you know, you can mix and match, switch stuff up. Depends on personal preference, you know. There's no real one-size-fits-all. It's very much, you know, comp by comp. Different things will work better for you. And that's, you know, a bit more on you to kind of figure out what works for you, I guess. I'm just giving you, like, the template and kind of the options here of, of what you can go for. Uh, but yeah, it's it's incredibly in depth. This is very much just scratching the surface. Uh, last time is obviously the brutal gloves. We uh, we, we like the uh, the equip bonus on those, so we're definitely not switching those out. Uh, and going with the spell hit in China as usual. So next we're going to talk about the tanky boy gear set and this is going to consist of 492 resilience and the stun resist meta and this is mostly going to be for comps that you cannot survive without this kind of gear or you're having a very hard time surviving so like for example double rogue in twos there's a bunch of other stuff as well but this is not something that you're going to be playing all the time you will switch this on using your better judgment and you don't even need to put it all on at once right you can put some of it on you can leave some of it off it's you know it's not an all or nothing it's a sliding scale you have multiple different gear pieces to equip unequip swap out all this good stuff so first we've got the brutal helm and this is the main thing that we're swapping compared to the last set as i said we've got the stun resist meta with the new Resilience Enchant and then a Spell Damage Stamina Blue Slash Red Gem. Next we've got the Pendant of Reprieve and we've actually decided to switch up the Neck Gem due to issues with the Haste Set, which you will see down the line. But yeah, we're going to be running a Spell Hit Spell Damage Gem in the Neck. And this is to make up the 3% since we're no longer running the hit on Helm. Next we've got the Brutal Shoulders. And usually we run the hit gem in the shoulders. In the yellow on the shoulders. But because we are swapping the shoulders out for haste now. This is no longer possible. So we have to do it in the neck. Usual gems. As I said before, we are using the same gear set, essentially, for the most part. We don't have multiple items of each piece, so we're keeping this the same as the general, the gemming, that is. Cloak of Swift Reprieve It's going to be uh, superior to the mana equivalent in terms of survival. Obviously, more haste means more chance of getting more spells off. Uh, same goes for the neck. Standard chest, same as before. 
Guardians, Bracers, same as before. And then we've swapped out our weapons for the Resilience counterparts, giving us about 61 more Resilience. Keep in mind, I've not done a gear set for this, but you can also get the Spell Pen Offhand and Wand, and you can switch those on as needed. So this will be if you're running in against an RMP and you don't want to have to dispel them all to be able to drop a Fear. You can start with the Spell Pen Offhand and Wand or toggle them on when you're going to go for a Fear. And this will make the Shadow Prot uh, render it essentially useless. Saving you a lot of globals on Dispel early game. You can also use this for Warlocks, Warlock Pets, that kind of thing. I highly recommend it. It helps a lot. So that's just a little, little side note there. Nothing really to do with the tanky set. Next we've got the 45 Resilience Trinket. Same again. Viola the Sunwell. Same again. And then we've got the JC Ring. We've got the Guardians Band of Salvation. We don't have a second Resilience Ring here, by the way, just to note. Because we're already basically resilience capped. So we don't want to waste any stats. So better to get a bunch of extra haste. Decent stats all around. Uh, and some MP5. We've got the Guardian's Boots. We've got the same legs as before. We've got the Guardian's Belt. And then the same gloves as before. So mostly just standard PvP gear on the right here. Now I've actually done two... Bist lists for haste pretty similar one of them is just like the absolute bis ever uh haste set i guess now the problem with this is it r won't really translate well for you if you're not doing anything other than rmp and and potentially if you want to change and drop some haste it's less forgiving for that because it essentially uses a lot of haste gems okay and this will not do well in your general gear set, for example. As, as I say, it's unlikely that you've got multiple robes, that kind of thing, for different gems. So this is very all-in. This is like, I'm playing threes, I'm not doing anything else, or at least I'm not caring about my performance and anything else. Um, and obviously, some of the items in this set are a bit trickier to get, i.e. the skull. Unless you're doing GDKPs, it's tricky to get as a priest. Um... And then we've got the JC ring again in here, which uh, we talked about earlier being quite tricky to pick up. But yeah, to start from the beginning, uh, we've got the Brutal Helm. We've got Spell Damage, Stun, re uh, stun Resistance, sorry. And a Spell Haste, Spell Damage gem in the red. Resilience on the Enchant, because we're going to lack it due to lack of uh, Resil gems. Uh, then we've got the Haste PvP Neck. And a Shawl of Wonderment, which is from a few different bosses in Sunwell. And you just drop the double spell haste in that, and it's got nice MP5 on it as well. But this is going to be overall your, your highest haste. Uh, so, so if you add the haste up to the Rizil, this is going to be the most valuable item that you can get in this shoulder slot. And overall, the most valuable increase over a Brutal piece. Um, there's a chest that comes close. However, the sockets are all blue, and we don't like that. Uh, so the cloak, we've just got the cloak of swift reprieve and, and chest. We're still on the brutal gladiator's moonglot robe, as I just said. However, gemming it with haste now. Braces, we're actually going for the shadow version. And these are actually really good for a general gear set as well, if socketed differently. So I recommend picking these up. If your raid doesn't care too much about you going for... Uh, the Shadow var uh, variant, but I actually think even for PvE, these are pretty good, so. Um, very, very weird one here, but yeah, they have nice haste on, a little bit less healing than the uh, healing counterpart. 43? 30, 34. I can't talk. Um, yeah, a little bit less healing than the... Uh, A little bit less healing than the healing. A little bit less healing than the holy counterpart. However, you do pick up a little bit more haste. You don't have to deal with the crit, which is pretty useless for you. You lose a four spirit, but you actually gain five MP5. So, a pretty nice item all round. And then we've just chucked a haste gem in here. The six MP5 in China as usual. Now, weapons. We've got the hammer of sanctification. And. 
We're actually going to pick up a bunch more healing over the staff, but we're going to lose a significant regen in favor of getting the haste. So we're picking up 23 haste from the, the main hand, uh, 10 haste in the socket, and then 22 haste in the offhand. And then we've got the Wand of Cleansing Light again, but this time socketed with the Haste. Now, Medallion, 45. All good there. And then we've got the Skull of Gul'dan we talked about earlier. This is a nice nice uh, pickup, especially for RMP. You know, you pop this with your PI, and you've got your 20% base Haste, pretty much. And that's, that's pretty much going to cap you. So, uh, with the hit on it as well, this is a super valuable item for creating early pressure in RMP games going to really overwhelm teams by having this a lot more than not having it then we've got the guardians band of dominance just standard there uh, however it does have haste on a little bit of damage uh, and spell pen spell pen won't be that that useful to you you've got the cloak already covering most things um this one's mostly about having just a good balance of resilience and haste on it and then as, as we said before the jewel crafting ring ring of flowing life Boots of Absolution, again socketed with Haste. Standard Legs. Belt of Absolution, socketed with Haste. These are both the Holy Ones now. And our Brutal Gloves are standard. And this is going to bring us up to 21.24% Haste base. While still having 304 Spirit buffed. So this is, this is definitely... Uh, definitely significant. And you're going to be able to create very, very high amounts of pressure with this. So next we're going to do the more realistic haste gear set. And this is going to be using items that we had, for the most part, in our other sets. Uh, we're not going to be using any sort of different funky gems, anything like that, because we can't get multiples of the same item realistically. So first of all, we're going to be using the tanky boy helm that we had before. Same gems. Same enchants. Then we've got the... Again, the same neck from the Tanky Boy gear set. And then we've got a PvE pair of shoulders. Now, the reason we're using these shoulders over uh, over the helm is because generally we're not too concerned with spirit in this gear set. We're more concerned with, with two things, really. Like how much haste is on an item and how much resilience is on an item. Because we, do, we, we still want to keep a decent amount of resilience. Um, but the regen is not as important in this set. So yeah, okay, some MP5 is nice so that we don't go oom, um, but our priority is getting a good amount of haste while maintaining a good amount of resilience and 3% hit. That's generally the goal here. So this Shawl of Wonder Wonderman actually has a really good, I guess, value for that with, you know, the two sockets and 33 passive haste and 9 MP5. This is kind of a greater increase over the PvP shoulders that we had otherwise compared to the PvP helm going to the, the PvE helm that we were looking at before. Due to that helm using a lot of its item budget actually on spirit. Uh, and healing as well, to be honest. Now there was also a decent chest option. However, the sockets are blue. And we don't like that. We want the, the yellow sockets to maintain our hit. Uh, so we're using the same chest as uh, our other sets. No change there. And again, the Cloak of Swift Reprieve, no change there either, really, from the Tanky Boy set. Uh, but we are using some different braces in this set. And this is actually quite a unique piece because we're using the Shadow Braces. And potentially, you could use these in your general gear, gear set as well. If you don't have, like, a belt or boots or whatever, you could use, you know, a, a PvP piece there and use these instead. The set bonus really doesn't matter on the uh, the healing absolution set. It's not useful in PvP at all. Uh, and the item, the, the stats on this item are actually really good. We've got a decent amount of spirit. I think it's only four less than the healing equivalent. However, this also has uh, has the five MP5 and slightly increased haste over the the healing equivalent. Uh, with the only detriment being forty odd uh, bonus healing, something like that. So it's not a bad trade off at all. As we know, the bonus healing is not that valuable in PvP. Uh, next, we've got the Kiljaden Staff, this time socketed with a bunch of haste. Realistically, uh, if we get this staff, you most likely won't want to put haste in it. You want to put the uh, the spirit gems in it with one purified. 
So I've got this in here for now. However, there are other options. In the Hammer of Sanctification, comboed with the Book of Highborn Hymns. Now, if you pick those two items up, you can use those for haste, and you can use this stuff for your just general general healing. And uh, that's going to be kind of your optimal setup. If you're fortunate enough to get two of these staves, then you can enchant this with spirit as well and use it as your spirit stick. Uh, so you have two of them. One one with healing and general spirit and, and getting the socket bonus, and one with just pure spirit and, uh, and a spirit enchant. Now we've got the same wand as before, with the same gem as before, not changing anything there, same trinkets. Uh, but we've got a Guardian's Band of Dominance here. And the this is actually quite a nice ring in terms of stats. Has a good amount of haste and resilience on it. And we're generally only really paying for it with about, you know, 20-25 healing. Nothing too crazy. Um, the spell pen on this is pretty pointless. It doesn't really do anything since you're generally capped against most things with the Cloak Enchant. Uh, this will help, however, against Warlocks potentially or Warlock Pets if you're swapping your offhand and wand as we spoke about earlier. Now, we're going to be using the Ring of Flowing Life again, the JC Ring. It's got a, a good amount of stats and haste on overall. And then, once again, the Boots and, and Belt of Absolution. Now, we've kept the same gems as before, but the haste on them is still nice. They're still worth using. Uh, and this is going to boost your regen a lot as well. Um, in your haste gear set. So this is going to actually just keep you going rather than you just being like fully like raw on haste, right? And going um instantly and really not having any kind of a backup plan. These items are going to help you out with that. Uh, and then obviously we've got the brutal legs and gloves, both the same as before. Just a side note, guys, I cannot go back in time and change this video. However, the BIS lists will be in the description and I will keep those updated. So if you are wondering why stuff that I'm doing on stream, using on stream, uh, have decided two months down the line, maybe I changed my mind on some things, maybe I made some tweaks, that kind of thing. You know, things change. Uh, we get better at the game. We learn new things. I do a little bit more theory crafting, figure out something that's a bit more optimal, that kind of thing. And I will be updating those links in the description i can't update the video i'm afraid but those will be the most updated versions of the bis list so use those lest ye reserve the wrong item in the raid okay so i've made this quick cheat sheet basically this is the items that i want for all the different sets and how big of an upgrade they are compared to the next best thing that we currently have or, or, or already have. Where they drop and how contested they are. Uh, maybe I got some stuff wrong here, but this is just stuff that I've gotten from looking at other classes, best lists, things like that. Uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Now, yeah, we've got the this golden staff from Kill Jaden at the top. This is an, a massive, massive upgrade over your current weapon. This is going to help you the most out of everything, if you get it. Uh, next, we've obviously got the Boots and Belt of Absolution. These are really big upgrades over the current PvE belt and boots that are available. Then we've got the Wand of Cleansing Light, which is kind of just like a unique wand. Like, the next best option in terms of just straight up, I guess, stats is the, the Narrow Blessed Life Rod. But the fact that this is holy damage makes this an actual unique item. And I was very tempted to put this actually above the Boots and Belt. The only reason I didn't is because the main value of this comes against Warlocks. Um, next, we've got the Shawl of Wonderment. Uh, items that are generally only for one set or, or useful in one set, I've, I've put in a bit lower. In terms of priorities, so this is obviously for the Haste set. We've got the Ring of Harmonic Beauty in the general. These two are basically the same, I would say, in terms of value. Uh, just because if you've got a Coral Band of the Revive, this is not that much of an upgrade. It's like 8, eight Int and 5 Spirit or something of an increase. So it's it's nice, obviously, but it's there's, there's bigger upgrades that you can get in the other items. Um, then we've got last, we've got the Braces of Absolution. Potentially going to move this higher at some point. Depends if I decide that it's useful for the general set as well. I will have a tinker around and we'll see. Um... 
And then last, we've got the Hammer of Sanctification and Book of Highborn Hymns. The reason I've put those last is if you get the staff, this is going to be fine for your haste set as well, due to the amount of haste on this item. Uh, and so these kind of take a little bit of a back seat. Obviously, these will be slightly better if you get them both, but this serves your uh, purpose relatively well and is a, a pretty good second best, I would say, if it's gemmed for spirit. If it's gemmed for haste, then it's massively better than both of these. Uh, lastly, obviously, we've got the Ring of Flowing Life, which is crafted by JC using sun motes, uh, and then the Vial of the Sun Well, which is farmed in Magister's Heroic. That was it, lads. Congrats if you made it this far. It was a bit of a slog, but yeah, hopefully my reasoning and thought process makes sense for you guys by now. Um, if you did make it this far and uh, you found it useful, you know the drill. Give it a like, link it to your mates, tell them to give it a like. Link it to their mates. Maybe Elon Musk will see it. Alright, bye.